If you're looking for a channel, keep it real and spitting facts. No need to look further, gangsta emoji where it's at. We keep it gangsta. Everything I say, we keep it gangsta. Everything I say, you can feel. If you're looking for a channel, keep it real and spitting facts. No need to look further, gangsta emoji where it's at. We keep it gangsta. Everything I say, we keep it real. We keep it gangsta. Everything I say, we you can feel. to my gangsters man welcome back welcome back welcome back man i appreciate y'all for tuning in once again to the hottest youtube channel on the planet the only youtube channel where you can keep it gangster because that's what i do i keep it gangster with my gangsters but anyway man how y'all gangsters doing today y'all all right y'all okay y'all good well good then man glad to see that everybody's all right everybody's okay Everybody doing just fine. Man, if you're new to this neighborhood, you new on this block, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share this video. Do all that for a G. And I appreciate you in advance. And also, turn on your gangstification bell. Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Man, you got to turn on your gangstification bell so as I continue to bring this hot sizzle out of these YouTube streets, you can be the first one, not the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, but the first one to pop in on the action. So get gangstified today by turning on the gangstification bell. Man, hold up. I got too much in my cup. Hey, man, hold up. Anyway, y'all, check it out, man. Check it out, man. I feel good, man. Not not 100%. But I feel good, man. I just feel like, you know, I need to come on here, man, and drop y'all another one of these hot bangers for the day, man. Let y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let's show, show, show with y'all this story, basically, man. I want to show with this story with y'all, man. And y'all comment down below after y'all listen to watch this video. If y'all listen to what I'm about to say, man, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. But anyway, man, check this out. This back in my young days, man, 21, 22 years of age, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I'm in my slab. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing through the neighborhood. So I stop at the little convenience store, like the little corner store, man. You know, you know how you stop it now, man? Grab a pack of cigs and, you know, get a soda or something. You know what I'm saying? So I pull up inside the store. While I'm inside the store, man, this shawty, she tried to holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? She tried to spit some game, and so I checked out. I sized up. I'm looking at her. Y'all like, oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. She working with a little something you know what I'm talking about. She was holding something from the backside. She was cute in the face of everything, you know what I'm saying? And so, so when she started trying to get at me, y'all did try to play like the hard to get. I ain't going to say hard to get, but I tried to play like the stuck up role, like I wasn't feeling the type of situation, but I was. I was really vibing with her the whole time. And so we sitting there chopping it up while she paying for her little groceries or whatever, her little snacks or whatever. We sitting there chopping it up and this and that, this and that, going back and forth. And so by the time, you know it, man, when we get outside the store, she asked me where I'm going. So I told her I'm going to hang out with the homies and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So we swapped numbers or whatever, man. We started chopping it up, feeling each other out, getting to know each other. Long story short, man, I ended up going to pick her up the same day. The same day. You know what I'm talking about? So I went picked up y'all, and y'all know your boy had to smash. I had to wind down that thing, man. First day action, you know what I'm saying? She saw the player was looking good. I, you know what I'm saying? I was looking good, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, and I, I must look like a snack to her because, man, look, or, or she probably hadn't had none in a while because she when she ready to do her thing. You know, and sometimes when you mess with you, one of them boppers, one of them thoughts like that, man, they would just be ready to go out the gate. And so anyway, y'all, let me tell you how it all went down. So now we kicking it every day, y'all. I'm going to pick her up, this and that, this and that. Now I, ain't, now, I haven't necessarily made this my girl or nothing like that. But we are doing a lot of hanging out, spending time and stuff like that. She done met my sister and my mama and all that. And I done met her mama and all that, you know. But but we, it still ain't official, if, if y'all understand what the guy's trying to tell you. We just doing our thing like a chicken wing, you know what I'm talking about? We just hanging out with each other, man, having fun, man, doing what we do. So anyway... I end up bringing her to the spot one day, you know what I'm saying? The spot, that's the hangout. Where we, everybody would hang out, you know, roll their blunt, smoke their weed, play the video game, talk some, talk some trash to each other. It was just the hangout where me and all the homies would hang out at. So I got her at the hangout, and while I'm there, you know what I'm saying? The, the homies, they checking her out. 
They're like, dang, gang to who is this? Who is this? Gang to ooh, 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 what you beat her at, man? Ooh, she look good, got she fine. Ooh, ooh, man, it ain't no fun if the homie can't have none. That's what they saying, y'all. They they shooting at her right down my face. Now like I told y'all, she's not my girl. So I don't I don't feel disrespected. And plus I know how the homies get down. They gonna test the water. So if you come around my homies and your girl ain't if you ain't cuffed her up yet. If she, you ain't got them cuffs on them, you might, you might lose them. Because they're going to be spitting the top-notch game. They're going to be spitting fire at them. You know what I'm saying? So I would tell them, I'm like, hey, man, it's probably game. Y'all do what y'all do. If she want to do something with y'all, that's y'all business, man. She's not my girl. You know what I'm saying? And so she kind of seemed like she felt, she kind of like seemed offended by me saying that she was not wasn't my girl and all that. But that's what the truth was. We were doing our thing, but she wasn't my girl. So I wasn't trying to sound disrespectful or like I didn't care about it or nothing like that. I just want to let it be known that, hey, man, y'all not stepping on the toes of a gangster by trying to holler at this female all because I was the one brought her up in her. So long story short, me and her, we go, we step to the side, we go to talking, and she let me know, you know what I'm saying, that she digging the homies too. I'm like, what? She said, she said, she let me know that she was down with the get down. So I'm like, well, do your thing then. Do your thing. I'm not mad at all. No, do your thing. So next thing you know, man, she in the room, and they going in there one at a time, smashing on them. You know what I'm saying? They they doing how they business. And I heard her, she moaning, she screaming, she hollering. I mean, they putting in some work on them, man, you know. And I know some of y'all dudes that's watching, y'all probably ran trains on female back in y'all young days and stuff like that, man. Y'all remember when that, when that was a, like a popular thing to do, run trains and all that type of stuff. But anyway, they ain't no smashing, man. I wasn't even trying to get down, you know what I'm saying? Because me and her, we didn't already did our thing. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really tripping off of none of that. So anyway, when she come out, she come out of the room. And she sit right there beside me, like, you know what I'm saying? After she got through sleeping with, like, two or three of the homies, like, two or three of them smashed her, and it was like nothing. And so, boom, so I ended up taking her back to the crib, you know what I'm saying? We talked about it, this and that, this and that. She didn't feel no kind of way. I didn't feel no kind of way. I said, well, I'll be through here to pick you up again tomorrow. I dropped off. Next day, I come through there get her. I take her right back to We go right back over to the homie house and hang out again. And they'll do the same thing to her, man. And, and she was enjoying it. She was having fun. Sometimes she would call me and say, hey, you coming to pick me up? I'm like, nah, I might not come to that. She said, I want to go over there where the homies and stuff at. I said, okay, I'll slide through later on and get you. So I slide through there, pick her up, man. We're going to hang out, have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So long story short, y'all, time kind of passed. I'm at the crib. She called me to tell me she's pregnant. And I'm like, what? You pregnant? And she's like, yeah, and I'm pregnant by you. I'm like, wait a minute. How are you pregnant by me? And you've been sleeping with all these dudes? She said, yeah, but I've been sleeping with you too. I said, but I used the condom. Did they use the condom? She said, yeah, they used the condom too. I said, well, how are you going to say the baby is mine if everybody's using condoms? And plus, I didn't even see them dudes with no condoms or no condom wrappers. Not that I was watching or nothing like that, y'all. But I didn't even see nothing like that. Ooh, excuse me. I didn't even see nothing like that. I didn't see nobody with no condoms or nothing like that, y'all. So I'm like, man, uh-uh, I ain't know why you be pregnant about me. So now, so now we're going through this whole thing. Nine months to pass, ten months to pass. Now it's time for her to give birth. She give birth to the baby, right? She give birth to the baby. Call me up, woo 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 woo. Why you want her to see the baby be born? It's your baby. I'm like, man, I told you that's not my baby. That's not my baby. So she asked me to come over there and look at the baby, y'all. I go look at the baby. The baby got my features, y'all. The baby's looking like the gangster. So now I start, you know, I start doing what I'm supposed to do. Start buying some milk and some pampers and, and coloring the holding the little baby and goo goo ga ga and put the pacifier in the mouth and wipe the milk off his face. I I was doing all that, y'all. Take the baby baths and all that. And so. I still in my heart, I'm still telling this girl, man, I still don't think that's my baby, man. She said, look at that baby gangster. It looks just like you. And so I brought the baby home to my mama. Let my mama look at the baby. My mama like, boy, you sure can't deny this baby. That's your child. That's your child. Showed the baby to my sister. 
Ooh, gangster, you know this show. Boy, that baby got all your features. Ooh, that's your child. And so that, so my mama and my sister, everybody started saying that the baby looked like me and had all my features and resemblance to me. I started kind of almost believing that the baby was mine. But something inside me was like, no. And so this girl and her mama, boy, they all down my throat. They yakky, yakky, yakky. You need to do this for the baby. You need to do that for the baby. You need to do this. You need to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting on the whole side of myself saying, man, I still don't think that's my baby. So the mama, so 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 the girl's mom was like, y'all need to have a blood test. I said, well, let's do it. So we went down there, man. I paid for the blood test. We went down there, man. And we, they swabbed us and did all that stuff, man. And so they took the addresses down, got her address, my address, so they could send us the papers. And so the next thing you know, y'all, I'm sitting at the crib. Now, mind y'all, this whole time I've still been buying baby pampers, baby diapers, and, you know, um, Infamil, Simulac, whatever the baby was drinking at the time, and just doing, just, just, I'm doing the bare minimum. I ain't like I was a super dad or nothing like that. I was doing the bare minimum, and a few times I was going to pick the baby up and let the baby spend a day or two with me and stay like that, then go, then go drop the baby back off. So now, next thing you know, man, I'm checking the mailbox here every day. Boom, here comes the paper, y'all. And notice, I got, and at this time when I got this, check this paper out, to look at the, when the paper came in the mail, I had the baby at my house with me. So I'm like, mm, let me see what's going on. So I bust it open. I read it. And this paper is telling me that this child is 99.99% not my child. That I was excluded as the father of this baby. I'm like, what? So I called up. Beep, 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 beep. She's like, hello, what's up, gangster? I'm like, man, come get your baby up out my house. Come get your baby. She said, what? What are you talking about? I said, you ain't get the letter from the people? She said, no, nah, what letter? I said, well, when you get her, I'll show it to you. So y'all, I got the phone. I'm packing up all the stuff. Woo, 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 woo. So her and her mama pulled up at my crib to get the baby. I went out there. I had, I had them both from the paper. So I'm looking at them, like, yeah, read that? Go ahead, go ahead and read that. So the girl, she's standing up beside her mama, her mama with her. And her mama was like, girl, he ain't the baby daddy. And she like, nah, mama, the paper say he not. Who you been, who you been? Because her mama didn't know all the stuff she was doing with the homies and all that. And her mama was like, who you been sleeping with? And, and so they started arguing in my front yard. Going back and forth, cause the mama really wouldn't, was wanting to know who is the baby's father for real. And me, I'm just like glad to know it wasn't me because I'm like, man, she was getting down a little bit too much for me to be stuck with her for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Even though I was smashing on her too, and I'm like, man, uh, -uh it ain't my baby. It ain't my baby. But I, I began to think it was mine because my mama said, oh, this boy, this baby look just like you. You can't deny this baby. My sister said the same thing, y'all. And at the end of the day, it was my baby. So if y'all somebody that's watching this video, you can't never tell somebody it's their baby just because of how the baby look. Because that baby did look like me. And I'm admitting that. But it wasn't my baby. Anyway, man, if y'all enjoyed this story, man, y'all give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Either way it go, I appreciate you for watching. It's your boy Gangster Emoji. Until the next video, man, y'all stay up, y'all stay safe, and y'all stay blessed. I'm out. Peace. Hit that subscribe button and big thumbs up and hit that bell and hit that cushion and hit that that bell. Another day, another story. Keep it gangster with gangster emoji. Keep it gangster. Another day, another story.